Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. We can help you change your life today using nutritional supplements, using dietary and lifestyle strategies as well. If you're on a prescription drug, as I've said so many times, if you're on a prescription drug long term, your number one health goal should be to figure out how to get off of it and nothing is more important for weaning yourself off your meds than a good nutritional supplement program. Nutrients are what drugs dream they could be. If a drug, when a drug goes to bed at night and has a fantasy dream, a wild wish fantasy dream, it dreams it was vitamin C. Nutrients are what the body uses. Drugs are what the body wants to eliminate. Nutrients, nutrient deficiency is what is behind many, or at least partially behind, many degenerative, long-term degenerative diseases. There is no such thing as a drug deficiency disease. If you're on a drug, people, you are not getting better, period. Now, do you need antibiotics sometimes? Yes. Do you need pain pills sometimes? Praise God for pain pills. I've often said that. But the kind of drugs I'm referring to that you want to wean yourself off of are the kind of drugs that you're just on, that you're never going to get better, you're never going to get better from, that you're only going to have to take more and more and more over time, that you're going to be on the rest of your life. Those are the kind of drugs your number one health challenge should be to figure out how to get off of them. And that's why we are here on the Bright Side every day. We can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, skin health questions, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about, read about, or of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, we especially love hearing those. Or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you advertise or recommended on the bright side, head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you'd like to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com for our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and our Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, all made with lots of vitamin C, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Treatment products. They're all up at truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. Oh, we got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour. Dr. Jerry Peterman is going to be talking about his time challenger formulations. Dr. Peterman is a, a, uh, a naturopathy, uh, student of naturopathy, and he's also uh, got a background, in, a background in engineering, and he's been formulating nutritional products that kind of, kind of uh, bridge both worlds using cellular, cellular electronics, or at least leveraging cellular ele electronics with nutrition, which is something we talk about all the time on The Bright Side. We'll be talking to Dr. Peterman. At the bottom of the hour, we'll get your calls here in our next segment, 844-236-6010. Speaking of electronics, we've been talking about the halogens. The halogens are the iodine look-alikes. They can mess up our, the health of our thyroid and wreak havoc, wreak health havoc on every, pretty much every system in the body, the skin, the glands, all the glands, the adrenal glands, the, the kidneys, and most especially the brain and the nervous system, which we'll be talking about here later on or in the next few days. And in the case of fluoride, 
especially wreaking havoc on the teeth and the bones. The thing about the halogens, all of them, they are highly electrical. They're extremely negative, and that's what, how we say it in chemistry, in biochemistry. They're negative, which means they suck up electrical energy very, very effectively. They're super electrical substances. If you put them in a light bulb, they can suck up excess energy, and that can allow you to, to generate a lot of heat without damaging the filament. That's called a halogen light. Halogen light is a light that uses iodine or bromine, which are super electrical, to suck up like a sponge, mop up excess electrical energy so you can get a really hot burn, and that gives you a bright light. And that's what a halogen, halogen uh, headlight is, for example. You've got four main halogens. I, uh, we talked about uh, iodine. We're going to be talking a lot about iodine. That's the, that's the only, well, that's the main, I don't say the only, but that's the main biological halogen. We talked about brom bromine. And by the way, bromine and bromide, iodine and iodide, chlorine and chloride, and uh, fluorine and fluoride, they're basically interchangeable. Those are your four halogens, iodine, bromine, chlorine, and fluorine. And they all have powerful electrical energy, energy-sucking effects. They're all powerfully negative or reactive. In chemistry, when something's very reactive, it has to be tightly controlled, in biochemistry especially, in all chemistry, because when things are highly reactive, they can explode. Well, in biochemistry, it's even more important because miniature explosions can cause tremendous damage. The body's are really tightly choreographed. The chemistry in the body is really tightly choreographed. It all involves electronics. If you throw some kind of highly reactive or highly electrical substance into the mix, you're going to mess things up. This is the problem with the halogens. This is the problem with all environmental toxins. The body's a finely tuned system. You can't just start throwing things into the system. When a highly reactive substance is introduced into a complex, sophisticated system like a cell, which is beyond belief how complex and sophisticated it is, chaos is the, ulti is the ultimate result. Chaos and destruction. And this destruction is, and this chaos is behind halogen toxicity which we've been talking about now for a few weeks. And it's really, a, it's a major health, a major health issue that kind of nobody, talk, nobody really discusses, although people in the know talk about this, bromine toxicity and fluoride toxicity and chloride toxicity, but it's really, considering how significant a health factor it could be, we really don't talk about it, in my opinion, anywhere near enough. So there's one halogen that the body needs in, in relatively high amounts, that's iodine. However, under conditions of iodine deficiency, the body will kind of make do with what's around. Not that it can, not that it, it will have a biological, necessarily do, a, do its biological work when, for example, thyroid hormone connects up with bromine or fluoride, but nonetheless, the thyroid hormone will still attempt to do its business with bromine or with chloride or with fluorine when iodine is not present. And this accounts for what we call functional hypothyroidism, where the thyroid itself is not, pro not messed up, but the fluorine is blocking the iodine, or the iodine deficiency is causing fluorine to block, uh, to block the hormone. Which is to say, make sure you get enough iodine so your fluoride isn't blocking that thyroid hormone. That's just another reason why you want to make sure you're on an iodine supplement if you're drinking a lot of fluoridated water or brushing with uh, fluoridated toothpaste. There's other places we get fluoride, too. You don't even think about it. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. So uh, halogens, four main halogens. Iodine is, the, uh, is your biological halogen. They're all highly electrically active. They're, in chemistry, we say they're negative. Guess which halogen is the most highly reactive of the four? Guess which halogen is the most highly negative of the four? Which is the most reactive and electrically, uh, uh, electrically reactive? They're all, uh, all the halogens are electrically active, okay? Uh, they're all electrically active. You don't want to be pouring any of them into the environment, but guess which halogen is the most powerful, deadly, toxic, and reactive? It's the one that we're dumping in the water supply. Yes, fluoride. Of the four, ha of the four halogens, this is the most reactive. Usually when toxic chemicals and, and pollutants contaminate our environment, it's accidental. It's a byproduct. With fluoride, it's intentional. They actually are intentionally put in the water. We talked about the history of it. We'll talk, continue talking about that as well. Uh, uh, we'll talk, we've got so much to talk about when it comes to fluoride toxicity. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. All 
right, we're back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 it is our number. We'll get your calls here in this segment. Got Dr. Jerry Peterman coming up at the bottom of the hour. We're going to talk a little bit about nutrition and cellular electronics. It's all electrical, folks. Yes, uh, I'm a chemistry geek, but chemistry at the end of the day is about electronics. The body is fundamentally an electrical system, and chemistry is secondary to electricity. And electricity, electricity or electrical energy, uh, or, or by manipulating electricity and electrical energy, that's how we get healthy biochemically. That's how vitamins work. That's how nutrients work. That's how the mighty 90 essential nutrients work. That's how all nutrients work. They facilitate electronics. They facilitate electrical energy in the cell. The cell is like a little battery, and you don't want to be interfering with that electrical energy. That's the whole problem with the halogens, among other toxins that we uh, introduce our, uh, have introduced into our environment industrially and through, through uh, uh, th as a byproduct of our 21st century modern lifestyle. But fluoride is different. Fluoride is intentionally added into the water supply. And how that occurred, how that came to be, is a very interesting story, which we touched on last, last time uh, on our last episode, on our last Brightside episode. And we're going to talk a little bit more because I want to talk about Edward Bernays. And uh, this whole idea of how we are manipulated against our will by tapping into our subconscious deep needs and desires and drives. Learning to uh, understanding that 90% of our actions and our behaviors are subconsciously driven. Driven, uh, we, we do them and we don't even know why we're doing them, or sometimes we don't even know that we're doing them. But other people, marketers, advertisers, people trying to sell us stuff, they know good and well about our subconscious drives. Edward Bernays was the first, was one of the one of the first, maybe the first guy to really understand that subconscious drives could be manipulated for profit. And he came up with all kinds of strategies for doing that. He wrote a book called Propaganda in the 1920s, I believe, or 1930s. Well, anyway, we'll talk about how all of that is related to fluoride and this crazy idea that you can dump an industrial waste, industrial toxin into the environment, have people drink the stuff, and not have health challenges associated with it. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm going to read one, just one, one study here, and then we'll get your call. So hang on. Um, this one is from the journal Kidney International. Kidney disease increases the risk of diabetes. Well, we knew diabetes increased the risk of kidney disease. Now it turns out when the kidneys are messed up, your risks of dysglycemia become higher as well. I like calling diabetes, I prefer to call diabetes dysglycemia. Dysglycemia means messed up blood sugar. Diabetes is like a proclamation. And once you get diagnosed or proclaimed a diabetic, then you get uh, your drugs at a certain cost, and you fit into a category, an insurance category. You get certain, you're, you fall into a certain classification that allows you to have certain medical procedures and diagnostic tests done, and your insurance rates change. It's a classification, really. And that's what we think disease is. We think disease is a classification. Classification has become lumped with disease. That doesn't help us because you can't heal a classification. You can't deal with a classification medically or therapeutically. But you can deal with a biological dysfunction very effectively. All you got to do is figure out what's causing the dysfunction, period. If you say, I'm going to have diabetes, there's nothing you could do. And doctors tell you, well, you're, you're diabetic for life. But if you say, my blood sugar isn't, doesn't seem to be controlled, I'm dysglycemic, my, my blood sugar is out of control, now you have some power. You just do, stop doing the things that change your blood sugar or that make your blood sugar go out of control. That's not hard. And then you support your body's ability to process sugar. That's not hard. And it's not medical. And it doesn't require a doctor or a drug. That's why they want us to think that we have diseases, not that our biochemistry is off. All right, 844 is our number. Hmm, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Taylor, is that you, Dr. Taylor? Yeah. Hey, it's Taylor. Good. Nice to talk to you this morning. You too. Happy Absolutely. birthday, officially, on the air. Thank you. Appreciate what? it. What's going on? Nice to hear. You. Nice to so, hear from you. How can we help? Yeah, for sure. That's great to hear you. Um, so I have a good friend who is just, you know, start becoming a hardcore longevity distributor, and she suffers from polycystic ovarian syndrome because she mm. did herbalife, and so she had a lot of soy consumed all the time. And I, I know, 
an overload of estrogen is what you said caused that. But I'm getting different opinions from you and Dr. Wallach and Dr. Glenn on what to do. Don't don't be getting me into a you know don't be causing a no, rock no, in the no, boat here, Dr. Taylor Mitchell. No. Don't be rocking the boat on me here. Yeah, sometimes we disagree. <laughs> I, I well. Part of me wants to know what they say, but it doesn't really matter. Here's the deal. It's, this is official, and you could take it to the bank, okay? I don't know what Dr. Glenn or Dr. Okay. Wallach say, and I, I love both those guys. They're great. They're friends, and I don't, yeah, sure. I don't want bad. You know, it's, but sometimes we disagree. So here's the deal. Uh, yeah, two but- words. There's only two words you need to understand when it comes to PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Number one, estrogen. Number two, insulin. Those are the two main causes. Now, it's a chicken and the egg kind of thing, which came first. Uh, you know, it could be the soy causing the estrogen, which throws off blood sugar. It could be the sugar causing the insulin, which throws off the estrogen. It's a chicken and egg phenomenon. It's hard to say which, which came first. Work on both. When we say work on insulin, that's easy. Or, or, or blood sugar and insulin. That's easy. Just stop eating the sugar and start eating more uh, sugar-stabilizing foods like fiber and protein and such, although you do got to be a little careful with protein. Make sure you're using the Sweeties, the Ultimate Niacin, uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Fucoid Z, Ultimate Selenium. These are all for helping stabilize the uh, insulin, right? That's step number one. Step number two is work with estrogen. How do you work with estrogen? Well, for a couple things. First of all, it's not really estrogen that's the problem as, as much as it is estrogen metabolites, things that estrogen breaks down into. Estrogen is broken down in steps. You probably know this from, from naturopathic school. You know, you know how estrogen is broken down into various byproducts and then it's cleared out by the liver. So if you have a liver problem, which is a digestive problem and also a blood sugar problem, by the way, then you're not going to be able to process your estrogen as well. So you've got to focus on liver health. You've got to focus on the health of the microbiome and the intestine because that's where uh, these are all involved in estrogen processing, making sure you get having regular bowel movements, using fiber, using more B-complex. Also, uh, a lot of the nutrients that help you handle sugar will also help you handle estrogen, especially zinc and selenium, both of stupendously important, both for both, for both blood sugar control and insulin. You should be using both of those. And then also balancing out the estrogen with progesterone cream and pregnenolone. Uh, that can also help vitamin A and vitamin E also have estrogen balancing effects too. Just that alone, if you just take everything I just said and have her listen to that and follow that protocol, just that alone will make a dramatic, beyond words, the kind of dramatic difference you're going to make in her life. But there's more. She should be doing a food, uh, a food diary and eliminating problem foods. She should be eating less food, calorie restriction. If she's not exercising, she should absolutely be exercising and, and focusing on lymphatic drainage. Is she an exercise person? Oh, yeah. We okay, good. Like, um, three times a week together. Good deal. Make sure she's moving that lymph. Slow, deep breathing, hanging upside down, mm-hmm. lymphatic massage, anything, mm-hmm. uh, getting on a rebounder, all that stuff. But there's, that's a ton of information. There's no reason she should have PCOS if she does everything I just said. Dr. Taylor, I want to get one more call in. Thank you. Nice to hear from you. Thank you. Have a, have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, Pete in Adina. What's going on? Pete in Adina, Minnesota. What's up? Hello, Dr. Ben. Thank you so much Hello. for taking my call. You're nice wonderful. to hear from you. Person, I just can't believe the medical system is so screwed up. It's it's and really I, I it, it's the of that with all the problems for my wife. But yeah, I it's a scary point. thought that the people we care, that they're supposed to be caring for us the most are are doing way way more damage. Mm-hmm. Although they do do, do do some they do do some good, especially when it comes to surgical procedures and emergency medicine. Yep. Pete, yep. I'm going to get you first up. We got to take a commercial break. Okay, don't go away. I'm, sure. I'm sorry, I had to do this to you. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back. We'll finish up with Pete, and then we'll uh, talk to Dr. Jerry Peterman about his formulations and also a little bit about cellular uh, cellular electronics and how you can use cellular electronics, uh, nutritional supplements, to improve cell electronics. All right. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we're back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team from uh, off the website. It's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for more info. Got Jerry Peterson, Dr. Jerry Peterson coming on uh, here in just a moment. I want to finish up with Pete in Minnesota, and then we'll talk to Dr. Peterson. Dr. Peterson is a, uh, a, um, an engineer slash 
nuclear scientist slash nutritionist and formulator, and he's come up with some really interesting and creative nutritional formulations. We'll talk about, uh, we'll talk to Jerry about his formulations and, and about some of his ideas here momentarily. Want to finish up with Pete in Adena, Minnesota. What's going on, Pete? You there? Yeah, uh, briefly, um, I, I will thank you again for your wonderful program and advice. And uh, Thank you. Um, the doctors are misleading us on a lot of things, but my question right now, because my wife has been sick for so many years, she's probably had about 40 MRIs, and I'm wondering what the damage to could happen from all this uh, contrast they put in her body. And Nobody probably seems not. to know anything about it. Well, what's she got? Why are they doing? Why are they done 40, 40 MRIs on her? Well, to be honest with you, a lot of it psychosomatic behavior. Okay. Um, and so she wants to go to the emergency room, and so they go through this uh, four days thing. They can get pa paid by uh, by Medicare, Social Security. So they put her through the. Uh, they're milking her. The hospital. Then they send her to rehab. Okay. Well, while you know she's what? In the emergency room, she gets these MRIs. They, they make a lot of money on these MRIs. I'm not sure how much they go for, but there's a lot of money. A couple um, grand at least. A couple grand at least. Uh, I, you know, it's a scam. That's a yep. that's one of the it hidden is. ways that we're exploited and taken advantage of by the healthcare system is through diagnostics right. and excessive diagnostics. Magnetic resonance MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, as it said, is when they take this huge magnet and they generate an electrical field and then they just focus this electromagnetic field on a specific area of the body and then they can see what things Things look like basically that's how it is yeah. but the point yeah. is it's a huge electrical setup and and then they have to inject things into you to cut contrast dyes to, to make the electronics work and so a picture can be formed not good lots of vitamin C for this gal lots heavy doses IV if I were you chelating agents I mean lots of things you could do get her on a nutritional supplement program obviously the healthy start pack and the beyond tangy tangerine but extra vitamin C extra vitamin E make sure she's using her ultimate selenium I'd be using the Fucoid Z as well. Um, probably is it probably wouldn't hurt her to make sure that she's using uh, other strategies like calorie restriction and uh, keeping her sugar stable. Just to, just to be kind to the body. You know, it's a little concerning about the whole psychosomatic thing because if it's been going on for a while, psychosomatic can actually cause somatic. You can actually make yourself sick by thinking about it. So, you know, you got to get all of that stuff under control. I, I always hesitate to say just use this nutritional supplement or this nutritional strategy because health challenges, especially long-term health challenges where, where we're, we don't get better or health challenges where we plateau, where we get better for a little bit, we get on a supplement program, we get better for a little bit, and then we are healing plateaus. Usually those are associated with psychological things, uh, spiritual things, even mental, emotional uh, issues that need to be addressed. And as much as I like talking about those, uh, now's not the time because we got a guest coming on, but you got tons of information there uh, to start the process. I really appreciate the kind words. Anything else you want to say? No, I was just trying to get a comment on that stuff they inject us. To it's not great. Not great. And the whole MRI thing is not great either. Certainly 40 yeah. MRIs, you know, you never know what's going to be accumulating in an already oh. fragile and uh, uh, destabilized system. Okay. okay. Th thanks so much, Pete. Take care, buddy. Got, Happy I've holidays. One quick thing to say, if I can. Yeah? It's supporting what you're saying all along. The doctors told my wife her MS disappeared. And I believe you asked me last time I talked to you how, how I think that went away. Well, I think it's partially because of the program I got her on with good things to eat and all of that. But Mayo Clinic just published about a third of a page of the newspaper saying that MS and arthritis are caused by bad gut bacteria. Hello. So Where have you, you heard go. that before? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you it's so official much. now. Thank you, Pete. Take care. Okay. Bye. I'm telling you guys, it all goes back to the digestive system. I don't know why we don't want to hear it. Well, I do know why we don't want to hear it, but we got to hear it if we're sick. And I'm not saying that you have to get on some kind of crazy nutritional pro uh, dietary program. I'm just saying if you're on a drug or you're stuck at the doctor's office or you're going to be in a wheelchair, you're going to have your legs amputated, these are wonderful options that you should at least be exploring if you want to keep your legs or you don't want to be on the drugs. All right. It's about options. That's all this is about is options, choices. We have choice. We have options. Okay.
I am very excited to have our next guest on. I've been talking to uh, this gentleman now for a couple of years. We've been trying to get him on, work with his products. I want to have him on my website. He's got just got some really interesting stuff to say and really interesting formulations. His product is called the Time Challenger. His line is called the Time Challenger. Please welcome to the bright side, Dr. Jerry Peterman. Jerry, you there? Hey. Good hey. morning, Ben. Good, good morning. Nice to talk to you officially on the air. We've been trying to do this for a while now. Um, real quickly, because we don't have a lot of time, real quickly, you're, you, you're studying nut uh, naturopathy. You're almost done with your doctorate. You also have a background in engineering, and I find that combination very fascinating, as I was telling you, because I think it allows you to look at, the, uh, look at chemistry, biochemistry, biology, nutritional chemistry from an electronic standpoint, and fundamentally, that's what it's all about. Right, Jerry? Absolutely. It's, we're an electrochemical being. And so Absolutely. how do you tell... Tell me how you how you formulate to leverage electro electronics or the electromagnetics inside the body. How do you make create formulas that take advantage of that idea? It comes down to the basis of my philosophy being most everything in the body is is uh, maintained by the health of the mitochondria. If you get the mitochondria happy and feed the mitochondria properly with uh, a certain specific nutrients then things start to balance out. Okay, and pretend pre much. pretend I'm in kindergarten, I'm in nursery school. What's a mitochondria? Mitochondria are small organelles. They're small. No, I'm a, of, I'm a kindergartner. you got to explain it to me. Like oh, to a, my God. Yeah. Okay. okay. They're little tiny organisms, if you will, that live inside of every human cell. And their job is to harvest the, uh, the material. I'm in kindergarten. I'm in okay. kindergarten. Uh, if the food that comes in is digested by these uh, these little uh, little individuals inside our cells, and they give some material to the cell to eat, ATP, and that is a material that the cell can eat. So the and it makes so the, the cell happy. So the mitochondria eat our food and turn our food into this stuff called ATP. That's correct. And ATP is like the the stuff, the basic the basic energy basic energy uh, element in the body. It's how energy is carried in the body. That's correct. And, now we have an odd situation. We're a, a symbiotic uh, being with these mitochondria. They can't live without us, and we can't live without them. Isn't that amazing? Have you heard the story of how it all began? Well, I think it's bacteria. That's what I was told originally. Many kind of interesting. Millions of years ago. But, Billions uh, of years I, ago. Billions yeah, of years yeah. ago, these little bacteria kind of entered into cells and then they became part of the cells. And not only became part of the cells, but they actually allowed the cells to exist in an oxygen environment. And it turns out that these little mitochondria actually have their own, own genetics even, right? Yes, they do. They're passed on by the mother's egg to men and women, but only women pass it on. And they... They, uh, they divide. Hey, Jerry, we got to take a break. We, we got to take a break, buddy. We'll come back right after this on the bright side. We'll talk some nutritional supplements with Dr. Jerry Peterman. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here talking to Dr. Jerry Peterman about uh, mitochondria and energy and how the cells use energy. The whole body and cells themselves are electrical systems. Energy is about the movement of electrical energy, a, a, a movement of electrons, pieces of electricity. It's all about pieces of electricity called electrons, and you can actually use food and nutrition. In fact, that's how food and nutrition works, right, Jerry? Certainly. Food and nutrition works works by how uh, cha they change the electronics of the body and the electronics of cells. So how did you cook? tell us a little bit about how your nutritional supplements take advantage or, or leverage this idea? One of the main things that this uh, product does, it has a lot of antioxidants in it. And what do you which, say, but, uh, excuse me, Jerry, when you say product, you, you're talking about one particular product? I'm talking about the Time Challenger product line. I have about seven products that utilize the base formula and okay. various things gotcha. have been added to it. But that, the, uh, the idea is to reduce the... Uh, the damage done by free radicals first, and then make sure that there's enough nutritional material 
uh, for the mitochondria specifically, and that's like acetylcarnitine, alpha-lipoic, DHEA. Well, hang on, hang on, Jerry, or, Jerry, Jerry, hang on. Before you get into the specifics yeah. of it, just so I understand, you have a base formula that's you, yes. th and that base formula is my, it, it supports it's it's for mitochondrial support. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, and then around that base formula, you build specific. You add uh, other ing other um, various nutritional supplements for various nutritional uh, various uh, uh, health needs. Is that right? That's correct. Yes. Gotcha. So, what is the base formula? Is that the, what you were just describing? Yes, we okay. had uh, started out with four basic materials: acetyl-L-carnitine, alpha-lipoic, DHEA, and CoQ10. Okay, hang on. Acetyl-L-carnitine, alpha-lipoic acid. Uh, yes. DHEA and coenzyme yes. Q10. That's correct. Those are the four elements of your basic formula. That's the base. And then okay. I added a resveratrol in a 600 milligram dose per day to that because resveratrol has a huge number of uh, properties that are beneficial to the body. A lot of it is the reduction of inflammation. And if you can reduce inflammation in the body and the cells and improve the respiration of the cells and that kind of thing, it, it really has a lot to do with that. Okay, and now resveratrol is resveratrol. I'm sorry to keep interrupting you, but you're saying so much, so much stuff there. I want to kind of make sure I understand everything. Is resveratrol part of the big four there, or is that added to it? No, in, it's okay, added to it. Okay, I, gotcha. I decided to put that in. Uh, after about a year of taking the base material and realized that I wanted this to do a lot more. And then I felt like I needed a few uh, vitamins. I needed a B-complex, a heavy dose of B-complex. I needed a large dose of uh, D3 and, and uh, vitamin E. So I made sure that those were in there as well. In the base formula? And, well, it's the whole, the whole uh, base now. The okay, formula now you is much larger now. Gotcha. So you got a base formula, and what do you call that product that's just, that is just the base formula? Time Challenger Original. I gotcha. So the Time Tra Challenger Original, that's the one with the alpha lipoic acid and the uh, DHEA yes. and the coenzyme Q10 and the resveratrol and the uh, vitamin E and these other supplements that support mitochondrial health. Time Challenger that's Original. Correct. And so who yes. should use that? I think anybody that's, uh, uh, any, anybody over, say, about 25 years old, because at 28, you have the most mitochondria you'll ever have, and after that, it's downhill from environmental degradation, fake food, all the other things that happen to us. So anybody from, uh, say, 28 to, to forever uh, needs to be taking the product, but it's the amount that you take. Uh, the young people at that age, a little older, will be taking one. It's age and weight dependent. So you have to judge that about well, how old a person is, uh, how uh, what kind of weight they have, and that kind of thing, and and then it uh, all comes together. And so what will, a, what would a young person notice if when they got on the Time Challenger original? Young healthy uh, person. Basically, a lot more energy. They would have a good a good energy. But one of the things they may not notice much, but if they're a runner. They're mm -hmm. going to increase their ability to, to run. We have one guy that's been on it for nine years now, and he went from uh, being fairly mediocre to being rated number three in his age group in triathlon athletes in the state of Texas. Now, uh, how, how about older folks? What would they notice? Older folks uh, older who are starting to break will, down a little bit. Oh, my God. It's great for that because they're going to start uh, a little less uh, dementia, they're going to start to get their cognitive skills back because remember, they, they this affects mitochondria. Mitochondria are really active in the neurons of the brain. A ten thousand and one neuron, where you only have about five hundred in the skin on your big toe. So you're going to see cognitive improvement. You're going to see skin improve. Now you uh, have that a kind of thing. You have Joint. a special. You have a special connection to the brain health issue, right? Do you mind talking about that yes, a little I bit? Do. So yes, tell, I do. tell the listeners a little bit about what you went through personally and how, how it helped you, this whole mito uh, idea of mitochondrial support. I was assaulted in 1986, and I did not know that I had an undiagnosed bleeder, which had shut off and produced a small tumor in my brain. It is not uh, malignant or anything. It's just there. It wiped out a small, about the size of an acre, and wiped out some of my brain. And, and uh, in 2009, I ended up having all the symptoms of a stroke. 
and uh, could not stand on my feet, could not uh, see out of my left field division. That's both eyes, left field division, which is really weird. Uh, I was basically jabbering and producing uh, an unintelligible intelligible speech, had to hunt for words and everything else. And it took me about uh, three years to fully recover, but I was back at work in six months. And I took only time challenger. I did not take any of the stuff that the doctors were trying to give me for symptoms. I didn't want to suppress symptoms. I wanted to reestablish uh, my functions in the brain because I knew the brain had uh, plasticity. It could regenerate, and it did, and I'm back. That's great. So, and, you, and how many years ago was this now, seven years ago? This was 2009. So, so almost so ops nine years ago, or no, two thousand nine, seven years ago, seven so years or eight ago. years ago, eight years ago. Well, that's good. That's yeah. that. It's I always like to hear when people who formulate products if they have personal stories how how it changed their lives because I know what nutritional supplementation did for me personally in my life. And when you sure. when you see how when you see how these things work in your life personally, it makes you believe. I mean, you you just want to stand on the rooftop and scream to everybody. Oh, I'm the band oh. leader. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So oh, tell yeah. us a, at, before we run out of time. For First of all, what's your website? It's timechallengerlabs.com. Okay, so all the products are available at timechallengerlabs.com. And then uh, tell us a little bit about the other products, the, the, the satellite products, I guess you call them, that, that, are, oh, yeah. that are built around the original formulation. Well, we also have athletic uh, recovery, which allows uh, young people who are anywhere from about uh, 25 to 45 to really improve on their athletic performance. And that uh, it contains glucosamine and chondroitin, and then we have a heavier dose of that, which is arthritis response, which is really, really good for uh, once we get older. I ask people just to stop taking time challenges and start taking the arthritis formula because it's everything in the original plus glucosamine and chondroitin. And then we have a diabetic uh, response product, which uh, uh, can dramatically lower A1C, according to my uh, my customers, and uh, they swear by it. So, how long does it take? How long does it take to lower the A1C? Uh, that, if you know? uh, I've been told six six weeks. Uh, okay. I knew a guy that took that, and in six weeks, his A1C dropped forty percent. Is that right? And he's and, been on fifteen years. He could not bring it down. Wow. So, now, uh, uh, if how long will it take people to notice results from the original Time Challenger? It depends on their level of uh, being decrepit or not. Okay. Uh, a healthy person is only going to see more energy, but a, a person that's really in bad shape is going to get really excited because within two or three days they start to feel better. I mean, it's dramatic. Within Very two or three. That's people yes. who are like falling apart, basically. Yes. Yes. Which and unfortunately, is, I mean, they'll. They'll call me up and they tell my God, this is incredible. That one lady that, uh, I mean, it, it, she was the biggest skeptic in the world. And seven days later, she's calling up and saying a knee does not hurt anymore. And I've had to fight with the doctors for 18 months because of this bad arthritic knee. And I have no more inflammation. That's and that was awesome. seven days. That's, That's what awesome. she said. All right, so they're all available at TimeChallengerLabs.com, correct? TimeChallengerLabs.com. Yes, all right, that's all the time we have, Jerry. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate Thank it. You, I'll, I'll be Appreciate talking it. to you soon. Thank you, dear. Thank that you, was Dr. Sir. Jerry Peterman. Uh, his, products, uh, his product line is called the Time Challenger, and you can find out all about it at TimeChallengerLabs.com, TimeChallengerLabs.com. And that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening, friends. We'll continue talking fluoride and halogen toxicity and what you can do about it. We'll get into some stuff about filters uh, tomorrow as we continue continue talking about uh, the thyroid and hypothyroidism on the bright side. Check out my websites, brightsideben.com for the longevity products and also pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com and our truth skin health products at truthtreatments.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.